Hi guys. Blake here today, Lily's Landing Resort and Marina. Beautiful Lake Tanny Como, Branson, Missouri. It is like, I think it's the 15th. It's the 15th of June. And uh, I don't have much time today. As you can see, I'm dressed up for golfing. We're doing a benefit golf tournament and Derek, or Darren, Nathan, um, and I are doing the golf tournament. So I've got to be there in like 30 minutes. So we might have time for a short one cast today. I boated up here, I'm just below Dino slash Scooter's Dock. Uh, got a little bit of chop here on the water. I guess the water's off all day. I haven't actually looked at the schedule. It's just what I heard on the dock a second ago. And I have a one thirty-second ounce Sculpin jig. We're going to try some jigging. This little area here is the only spot on my way up where I found a little bit of chop going on. So I've got the boat parked right here on kind of the shallower flat leading off into the deeper water over there. It's a little, it's just right about noon o'clock right now. So sun's up pretty high. I'm feeling those fish are gonna be a little bit more in that deep water than they will be over here on the shallow flat. officially on the first cast. I haven't thrown the 132nd ounce jig much with the water being off, but it is one of the things that I like to do when the water's off. Probably isn't the best time of day, but I also have a white mini jig with me on a fly rod with a cork or an indicator just in case I don't get any action on the jig. We're gonna try something here real quick. We're gonna throw it out there and let it sink down to the bottom and we're gonna scoot it along the gravel just like a sculpin fish moves. So instead of an upwards pop, I'm doing a little sideways. Oh, see, there's one already. That changed the entire game. How about that? Just a little change in action. Didn't change anything else. Still got the same two pound line. Same jig, just a different approach. Try that again. So I'm letting it sink all the way to the bottom, giving it plenty of time to get there. Keeping the rod tip down and just giving it a two or three scoots, reeling a little bit of my slack, let it set there again, the way a sculpin fish moves is they dart between the rocks. Okay. Watching the line. It's a little bit harder to feel the bite doing it this way. So you really gotta watch that line for when it jumps.
that fish was jumping so hard. I can see some of his scales came off his side when he landed here in the water. You can see when it actually hits the bottom, the line will stretch out and then come back once it actually hits the bottom. How's it going? All right. Find any fish today? <laughs> I've seen quite a few. Yeah, I've seen a few here too. It's not too interested in the worm. No, once the sun gets up like this with that water off, it makes it a little tough. Oh uh, yeah, you gotta do that the night before. Alright, so one of the things I do guys is when the water's off, I take about five or ten casts in a spot. If you don't get any action, just move the boat 20 foot and try again. My chop has practically disappeared here. There we go, now we're getting some wind again. <laughs> I talked to Captain Billy Elbert just a little bit ago. They said they did pretty good on midges and mega worms this morning. I imagine that they were up in the trophy area. Yeah, I'm just uh, scooting a little 132nd ounce sculpin jig across the bottom. I'm not even jigging it up. I'm just scooting it across the gravel. Yeah, sometimes when the water's off, that works. Kind of imitates a sculpin fish. Best thing I can tell you about when the conditions are like this is get find spots where the wind is doing that to the water. Yeah. They came up here last week when they were running three generators and kind of just sunk in the sh shadows over there off the opposite fall creek and got a nice one. Yeah. <laughs> well, the water running versus the water off are definitely two entirely different beasts. <laughs> oh, yeah.
I'm gonna take just a couple more casts and then I got to go or I'm gonna be late. But in order to throw the 132nd ounce jig, there's another one. You need two pound line all the way, a nice lightweight action rod, and of course a reel with some good drag. But it is, it is an effective tool. You can fish it many different ways depending on how the fish want to bite. And it is great for when the water's off. And if I'm going out just to enjoy fishing, it is definitely one of the things that I'm trying when I'm out, if the water's off. Oh, he hit it. And I missed him. Well, pretty funny how it makes the huge of a difference, you know? I was jigging it, not getting a single bite. And as soon as I started scooting it, we caught a fish. All right, calling it. Last cast right here. Definitely takes some more patience to fish this slow, so I understand why some don't like fishing with a jig that small. Just pretend like you're throwing a Texas rig for bass and just barely moving it through the bottom. Okay, that's it. Well, we managed to find a few fish there pretty fast. But uh, we thank you guys for watching. Like and share us on Facebook, and we'll be back again tomorrow.